an image into a link on your eBay listing description. So I have a listing here for a, a religious book. Okay, so I already filled out some of the information for it that I want um, my customers to see. So now what we're going to do is let's say you want to enter an image that's going to link to a um, book discussion, all right? Discussion about the book that you're listing. Well, first of all, I went to uh, this website here, which I will link below, so don't worry about it. Um, I went here and went all the way down to um, using an image as a link. Okay, so then I copied and pasted this into a notepad. So let me explain to you how this uh, HTML um, works here. This is going to be where it says a h r e f equals quotation mark default dot asp end quotation. Here is where your link is going to go, where you want that image to be linked to, okay? And here where it says M IMG SRC, which stands for image source, um, right here in the middle between the two quotations is going to be um, your image that you want to be a link. Um, this you don't need here. Um, I tested it out. You don't really need that. That's just for uh, uh, showing you that this is just a, a tutorial. Um, and here you can also change the size of your image, but you don't need that if you don't want to. So I'm gonna I'm going to delete this because I actually don't. I am um, sorry about that. I actually just um, don't need that. And you're going to delete that. And all you're going to be left with is a very small HTML to work with, an easy one to work with. So it's basically this, but we changed this to link. And then we changed this to image. So it's the same thing. If you want to leave the sizing in there so you can mess around with it, go ahead. But this is just, I'm just showing you how to uh, make an image into a link on your eBay listing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to decide what our link and our image is going to be. So for my link, I want it to be a, um, this one right here, right? So it's like a bunch of people reviewing the book. So I'm going to copy and paste that to my notepad where it says link. There's my link right there. Right here. And now I want an image. My image is going to be just a picture of the cover of the book. See, I googled it, found this one, view image. Here it is. And I'm going to copy it. All right, so now I'm gonna go and copy it um, and paste it into here. So now I'm going to get this whole thing and I'm gonna copy it. Um, minimize that, go back to my eBay listing. Okay, so here we are. And make sure where you wanna place it. You can place it anywhere, obviously, but make sure you know where you wanna place it. You can place it at the beginning, at the end. I'm going to place in mine just right here. And I'm going to mark my place with excess. This way you will know when you switch to HTML where to put your HTML code. The one we just copied and pasted on the note from the notepad. So see, it was easy for me to find it just right here, a bunch of X's. Highlight them, 
and then I'm going to copy and paste my code in there. I'm going to switch back to standard and there is my link. I'm not really sure why this little line shows up here but you can just delete that if it shows up on you. Okay so now what's left to do is you're going to preview your listing just to be sure. I always preview my listing okay. Here the, the link won't work here because it's just a preview so now once you update it the link should work so let's let's check it out alright here's my uh, my listing looks pretty good looks pretty good and then let's see if the link works right to my goodreads book reviews there you go and that is how to add an image as a link into your eBay description. And I hope you guys really like this video. I, I know someone requested it last time and it took me a little while, but here you go. And if you have any more requests, please let me know. Um, and also don't forget to play around with the sizing like we discussed last time, earlier I mean. Um, the sizing we discussed, um, well actually it's right here this part right here that I deleted you can change the height and width of your image so if you want it to be smaller or larger you can change it and also if you don't just want the image to be like how it is already from when you from here like I can make this smaller or larger depending um, if you just want it to stay the same you can just uh, remove that part right there but yeah, alright if you have any more questions just let me know any video requests um, I really like making these videos so um, I hope it helped thank you 